In this tutorial I'm going to talk about ROM hacking. ROM hacking is where you change an original game's graphics or sound to create a new game, like this game, which is Super Pikachu Land, based on Super Mario Land. I'm going to show you some quick tools and some demos of how you can do this yourself and start playing around with ROMs. So let's get started. So to get started on your ROM hacking journey, all you've got to do is go to this link on ROM hacking and download the utility YYCHR. If you download that and unzip the zip file, you should end up with something like this. And if you just launch YYCHR, you'll end up with this program here. So what we need to do first is to open up a Game Boy game. I've just got Super Mario Land in here. I can't link to that. You can have to go and find that yourself or dump it from your own uh, game cartridge. And if you just go File, Open, Super Mario Land. Now it will open up and look completely garbage here. You can have to change a few things for Game Boy. So if you go to this graphics format, change that to be 2BPP GB, uh, and you will see it's still garbage. But actually now if we scroll down, you'll see what starts to look like the Mario sprites from, a different, from different games. I just managed to move that by scrolling. So if we want to find Mario character, there he is. Now, at the moment it's putting me off a little bit because the colours are crazy, so we're just going to change the palette here. So really what we want, if you have a look at something here, I'm just going to change the zoom size as well. So we can see four sprites at a time. Um, what you can see here is the background colour, really we'd expect that to be white and, and some of the other colours different colour. So I'm going to change it over so it just looks more like it really should do on a Game Boy. So as I said, the black should be white. So we click on the black, choose white. That color should be black. This color should be a light gray. This color should be a dark gray. There we are, looks much more right. But you can see it doesn't look quite right. Something's kind of broken here. These these individual eight by eight tiles, and I'm looking at four of them at a time. Uh, sorry, I'm looking at 16 at the time. Don't look quite right. And that's because this program has to kind of guess when it's opened the ROM where to start reading the hexadecimal values that are in there. Uh, and it can get it a bit wrong, so you have to shift sometimes. That's what these buttons here are for shifting um, by one byte at a time until we get it right. So if we click on this, uh, we'll just scroll down so we can see the whole page first. If we click on the plus here, keep going. There we are. That now starts to look, if you think about this as a four eight by eight sprites as a meta sprite, then that's starting to look right. So now we've got a palette that looks right and we've got the game look right. We're going to save out the palette so we can use it in future. So do save palette, um, call it whatever you like, and then we can reload that in future. So we want to actually hack this, we want to change some of these sprites a bit. I'm going to show you a really simple example, but you could completely replace these how you like. So we're going to start off by creating a, a clean shaven Mario. So I'm going to choose this colour here, and wherever I find his moustache, I'm going to replace it. So we're going to have to go through all of these sprites, clicking on the kind of 4x4 four four section as we do it, and find any that have got the moustache in. Now, a few of them, like these ones, are lining up perfectly so we can see a meta sprite, but some of them, it's just the order that they are in the ROM. They're not necessarily how they'll be displayed. So you can see this one's got some strange kind of character here and something here from another thing, I'm not sure. Um, but this piece here and this piece here are the bottom of a large Mario. So those two sprites there are part of his moustache as well. Uh, if we click here, here's his moustache. This is the kind of larger Mario when he's jumping, if you've got a mushroom. And when he's turning the other way. Uh, this sprite over here is Mario dying, so it's half of it. Actually when they display it they use these two and they flip them. So use the other side because it's a symmetrical um, sprite, you don't have to use that. So we're kind of going through, I could go through all the ones where he's in a submarine and change those as well, but I think we're just going to change the basic ones for now. I can see there's one there as well. And one there. And there's something there. So all these different variations are Mario at different sizes, walking different directions, jumping and it's moving the head up a little bit. There are lots of different variations and you can see some of the other sprites here as well. So once you've done your editing, you just do File, Save As, 
and we're going to save a new ROM file basically. So we're going to call this Mario Land Close Shave. Okay, now if we open up our Game Boy emulator, BGB, again I'll put the link for that if you haven't got it already, and we're just going to copy the file we just created, the Close Shave file, by dragging it into it. You'll see it will complain that the checksum doesn't um, match. Basically that means it's checking right at the beginning of the file um, to see whether the rest of the file has been modified, which we've modified it. Um, but as it says, a real Game Boy wouldn't care and we'll just load this, so it's just for information. This all looks good. And if I start the game, there's our clean shaven Mario. And when he's big Mario, he's clean shaven as well. So we've done a really simple basic wrong hack there just inside the program. But it can get a bit annoying have to individually do it, especially if you're doing completely replacing your sprites. So if you want to bring it out to a graphics package, you can do that as well. So I'm going to change the zoom so we see all of this bank of sprites here. And I'm going to do edit, copy. And then I'm going to open up a graphics program. This is GIMP. Again, I'll put a link to it. If you're used to using Photoshop, which is more what I'm used to using, then, then please do. Um, but I'm going to use GIMP because everyone can go and download it. So I'm just pasting it in, doing Control and V or edit and paste here. And then we're going to zoom in so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to make some slightly bigger changes. So I'm going to change the question mark here. So I need to make sure I use exactly the colors that are in here. So we can make sure we do that by picking the eyedropper. So I'm just going to use white and I'm going to wipe out using the pen tool. Need to change the size, make sure it's at one pixel here. We're going to wipe out the question mark there. And I'm going to replace it with a smiley face. So I'm just going to change to black maybe a frowny face. So wherever that block is in the level now, it will be a, a frowny face. And we'll also change the block when you jump and hit it so that it's also different. So I think it turns into one of these, I'm not sure which one, we'll just change both. But you could experiment yourself. or something like that. Go on wrong. There we go. And then if you just do edit copy or control V, go back into here, we can do edit paste and it will paste that modified file in you can see. And then again, we can do file save, go back into our Game Boy emulator Reload it. And there we go, smiley face. I think I probably didn't get the right one. No, I need to find whatever that one is there. But if we go all the way through, they will all be a little, little frowny face now. So hopefully you can see that it's relatively easy using this tool to be able to just go in, find the graphics you want and replace them. And if you scroll through this file, you'll start to see um, the pipe graphics. Further down, we'll find the kind of intro screen and some of the um, enemies from later on. So you can really easily in this tool find what you need to do. I've also found sometimes it kind of messes around and messes up the offset that you set, so you have to keep resetting it. Um, so if I go back now, you'll see that some, for some reason or other, the offset's changed again. So if we just change this back so we can see them. I think it's when you scroll it messes up. So we're just gonna put that offset back in there we go, just so we can carry on editing. So that's the other thing that you really need to do. Go and have a play yourself. I'd love to see what hacks you come up with. Uh, and please let us know how you're getting on and show us what you're doing. Don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe so you get new episodes. But that's all for now. See you later.